Good morning, everyone. Kate Bohr and Fiona Pearman here for this week's Facebook Live, where we continue the final Facebook Live around asking for help. We're going to be talking about um, building your team. And here we're talking about peers, mentors and sponsors, a really important part of the conversation as we start to co-create the network that sits around us that really can help us achieve our goals. Yes, I think this is a really interesting one because when we think about asking for help, you know, we often make it much bigger story than it needs to be. And actually, we've already got a lot of people in our world who could be incredibly helpful and would actually more than would be so willing and so happy to help us. So starting to think about who is in my world already and who might I need to bring in for me to really uh, deal with some of the challenges and for some of the things that I've got going on. Uh, we tend to see these people either, you know, they're unpaid, they're people we already know or they're part of our network. They may be friends, colleagues, they may be, um, you know, leaders in our organisation or potentially leaders in the industry that we're connected to. But there's also um, an incredible group of people, you know, coaches like us, uh, people who are out there who, you know, we can pay for help. And certainly, you know, you and I, Kate, have done this over many years, um, invested in that resource of someone who's already got a lot of knowledge, who can actually provide um, input and ideas, give us perspective and be a sounding board as we navigate some of the challenges that are going on for us. Yeah, I think that can often be a roadblock, right, around, oh, I shouldn't, you know, should I invest the money? I mean, I'm always really clear. You can either take the long way or the short way. Um, yes, you're going to pay some money, but actually the cost of that far outweighs um, the opportunity cost of taking the long way. So I think this is really important. It's really important to start to build those relationships because we know when you've got relationships with people, it's far easier to be able to ask for help. We're able to do it in a, from a far stronger place. And we've talked lots about being able to ask for help from a place of personal power. If we don't want to dig into that in this session, but please check out some of the other um, lives we've done over the course of the month around that. But the more that you've got some of these relationships, these people around you who are subject matter experts or I have specific skills, capabilities, experience that you can leverage in service of your goals, pick their brains, whether it's a five minute phone conversation, whether it's a cup of coffee, sit down, whatever it's going to look like. Um, but starting to be able to leverage this support because the reality is we can't do it all ourselves. And realistically, we shouldn't have to. And on top of that, organizations like us to collaborate, right, is the capability that is rewarded in organisations. So we need to start to build these relationships. We're often good at doing it in our organisation, right? We work with people on projects. We know people across our organisation. We're often better at doing that. Um, we're often not so great at keeping those relationships outside the organisation. So I think it's both. Um, it's being able to, yes, curate that network of peers, um, mentors and sponsors. Um, and the conversation around sponsors and mentors is a, is a different one that, you know, I think we might even circle back on next week, Fee. Um, but curating that network and being then really strategic about those outside the organisation and making it a priority. Yes, yeah. There's so many ways in which we tend to under leverage this. We met people, um, they move on, we move on. We can stay in touch with them. You know, as you said, it can be simply as a, a coffee, just asking them some questions, getting some input, getting some ideas. I think with this, as always, it's how do we start? And we'd say, you know, identify three. Choose three people in your world now, maybe one or two in your current organisation and maybe one or two outside. Decide who it is that you would like to do some interaction where you'd like to ask for some help, get their perspective or get their input. And then the action step is to go away and actually engage with one. Start with one and be really specific, really clear about what it is you need help with and how their um, you know, experience, their knowledge could help you. And then, you know, people will always lean into that conversation, will always be willing, which I think is, you know, this is some one of the, the virtuous benefits of asking for help is, you know, we get more and actually people like helping us. Yeah, I think um, important to start small, important to build relationship. <clears throat> the more that you have relationship with these people, the easier it's going to feel to be able to ask for a favour, um, equally them ask for you a favour back and, of course, offering those um, exchanges. Um, but this is a long game. Like this isn't a one-off, let's have a coffee and I'm done. Um, the more that we can build a network, curate a network 
of people in our world. We call it our team. Like who is on your team? Who is there to support you? Yes, in your organization, it's your leader and maybe some colleagues, but we want to expand that reach. We want to look at other people in your organization and importantly, other people outside your organization. We want to build a team of people who can support you, not just today, but realistically throughout your career. And I've met so many incredible people. In fact, so many people who I've met professionally than now have become personal friends um, and will be for the my entire career. And so to be able to start to build that network, you don't have to kind of have 5, 10, 15. But as Fiona said, you know, start to be really strategic. Think who's that one or two people that you can start to identify, but most importantly, take action on this. Start to build some consistent connection, um, whether that's every couple of months, catching up, having a conversation so that you really can start to leverage the support that a team can really provide when it comes to achieving your career goals um, as well. That's it for us. And we're going to wrap there. If you've enjoyed today's confidence conversation, um, please uh, share it with your community. If you've got a friend or colleague who might benefit from, um, from this conversation, we'd love for you to do that. Um, lots of uh, great Facebook lives, including those um, past ones we talked about, roadblocks to asking for help um, over on our Core Confidence Facebook page. So like that and dig into those videos there. And if you would like to go deeper with your relationship with Core Confidence, visit our website, coreconfidence.com.au.